was 16 years old, it was like walking into heaven. It was a really a resort area, summer resort area. I mean, there were hundreds and hundreds of bungalows up the beach along the boardwalk. You know, three o'clock in the morning, you'd walk the boardwalk, but it'd be crowded and everything. Everybody would be, it'd be such a happy occasion. Due to the white flight of the 70s and 80s, Far Rockway was left with many abandoned stores, homes, and churches. But the 152-year-old parish of St. Mary, Star of the Sea, found renewed faith in immigration. In the early 80s, there was a large influx of Hispanics. And uh, for St. Mary's and St. Gertrude's, it was a very a blessing because traditionally Hispanics are mostly Catholic. Some of them knew English, but the majority of them did not. So uh, this was a really a welcoming uh, 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 space for the Spanish community. And as a result, uh, this church, St. Mary's, is, is very dependent on the Spanish community in order to survive. From 1950 to 2009, the number of Hispanic parishioners at St. Mary has grown from a small handful to nearly half of the entire congregation. Over the same period, the number of Anglo parishioners has dropped from more than 90% to less than 15%. There have been a lot of changes, because a lot of people have immigrated from other countries. So much that the mass now is quite diverse. I was baptized here, and all my life, all my life growing up, I went to St. Mary's Star of the Sea School. So my religious education, my um, education formally was always here, and always part of the church. When I grew up, the church was really more reserved. Now it's a more festive, a lot more singing, a lot more greetings, a lot more welcoming. Where in the English-speaking community, people would come to see a priest and then they would arrange a baptism or a wedding, or maybe for confession, maybe some counseling. In the Spanish-speaking community, the role of the priest is different in the sense that the priest is the one you go to about problems, all kinds of problems, whether it's marital problems, individual problems, spiritual problems, personal problems, financial problems. The priest is the, is the person that you go to. Uh, and if you go to the masses, the, the Spanish mass at 11, 11.30 is really crowded. The people don't fit there. Some of them have to stand outside. And of course, the Spanish community has 20 countries. In the transcurso of our life, muchas veces hemos sentido la mano del Señor. So when the bishop had called and asked to see me, I assumed it was for something else. And I had breakfast with him, and I remember him telling me that I was the pastor of St. Mary started the scene far away, and I thought he made a mistake because I didn't speak Spanish fluently. I still don't speak Spanish fluently, but I certainly much better than I used to be. Jesus escuchó lo que hablaba y dijo, no temas, basta que tengas fe. Sometimes we have services in three languages. That is a big change. At one time, when I grew up, when everything, the mass was itself in Latin, but everything else was in English. This is an immigrant diocese, you know. Mass is celebrated in Brooklyn and Queens on, on Sunday in 18 languages. Don't forget that we never stop coming, never stop immigrating. Every day I see new people, new faces, and they're immigrants. And the majority are very young. <laughs>